welcome back. Now, um, based on all that has been said here, um, Ezekiel, uh, the presidential system of government does not seem to be doing us a lot of good. It looks like we are, to borrow um, Shukwa's words, we are copying and pasting the wrong things. Because democracy has worked in other places. The presidential, uh, presidential system is working in other places. So, as Robert Clark suggested yesterday, should we begin to consider the parliamentary system of government? Yeah, I, I, I wish I could, I could give you a written whatever so that all can be condensed in one second. But number one is that if you have a pesticide and you keep changing the name and not the content, you're wasting your time. The issue is not presidential or parliamentary. The issue is the process, how we work. One is leadership recruitment. Right now, it's a big enterprise, big enterprise. Number two, you cannot spend so much. Get into the house and people don't expect you to recoup the processes. It is the Nigerian you should talk to first. And then I believe that it is impossible and it's morally wrong for you to ask the National Assembly to play straight. It is not fair on them because we collected money from them, because we ripped them off, because we dealt with them, because we stressed them and collected all they had to put them there. And then they get in there, you want them to serve you. Are you God? They don't owe you that obligation. We so they have to, to recoup. They have to recoup. It's only natural. So coming, coming, no, no, it's a simple truth. Coming ahead, can we evolve a process where we, the Nigerian people, like, in, you know, Donald Trump has so much money, but how much of his money did he put? The American people contributed. There's a process, a system, you know. Let me just end on this note. You know, you said I've won several caps because the Nigerian project is just on my head and I can't seem to sleep with it. Number one, I carried social housing for about 25 years. I realized that we got to a point of a policy. You can't take it above that point unless you are part of a system. I got into a political party, okay? Because in the party is government. Every party is government, either in action or in waiting. So as a head of government that I was, I could make policies on housing. I realized that before I can make progress at that point, when I need to believe that the young people can do something and give them the chance to do it. And secondly, I needed to come out to mobilize Nigerians because as a national chairman of a party, I can't talk to APC, I can't talk to PDP, I can't talk to the other people, I can only talk to people that look at my party. But if I have a national platform, I can ask Nigerians, can we not think? And I'm looking at a process where we are able to elect people, we decide, we agree early enough and put in people there that look at service as opposed to power. Nigerians are ready and eager for it. They just need leadership to change them. I am one person that don't believe a lot of the things that people say. I don't believe Nigerians are corrupt. I might surprise you. I don't believe that Nigerians are bad people. No, let me just but, but is it here? Let me just end my thought on this note. I, I'm sorry, I, 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 need, I need I need to interrupt. The most in the I need to interrupt they are you. The I'm most sorry. Fearing people, because they are the most resourceful people, and as a result, if you are able to understand this as a leader and not castigate them, but harness them in the right direction, Nigerians are the most following people. Look at what IBB did. Look at what Abacha did. Nigerians, they went this way, Nigeria followed. They went this way, Nigeria followed. If we can give Nigerians the way to go in terms of choosing leadership, Nigerians will follow and we'll have an amazing country. I couldn't agree with you more, but I still need to ask you this question because what you said earlier yeah. was corruption. Yes. The processes engender yes. corruption. By a few people who have taken captains of the generality of the people and by the come failure. and enlighten the generality of the people, let them lock up these few people and seize their country. Nigeria today is not our country. No. It it's is the enterprise of a few no. selects. We have to bring it back and give power to the people okay. and give Nigeria to Nigerians okay. and let Nigerians rebuild Nigeria. Okay. Malaki. Well, he's well, spoken well, but I found a lot of contradictory lines. And this is with due respect. Now, if on the one hand, you say Nigerians are not corrupt. Mm -hmm. General statement. General statement. There yeah, are a few corrupt Nigerians. But amongst the preponderance of those Nigerians that are not corrupt, you have the greatest number of those who are not, res who are not ready to do anything about that corruption. Just including, it is not corruption. Include, for instance, if as a member of a political movement, you had that privilege to 
occupy that position and you couldn't mobilize the same people you know are not corrupt to resist one singular practice of seeing chairmen with as much money even if you are begrudged that that is not enough. That for me contradicts the earlier statement. Why is it so? It is because this is what happens. Every other person who finds it resentful does nothing about it, but mm. just, you know, keep carrying on as though that will correct the situation. Let me make this point. Uh, they were fantastic in their earlier remarks. Um, Fidel Castro just died this morning at 90. It wasn't so much about democracy in Cuba. Communism. No, complete communism. <laughs> yes, there were issues of repression. But today, I don't know of any country that boasts of a more sophisticated, profound medical health care than Cuba. I don't know of a, a, a country that prides itself on very high education standards as much as Cuba. So what I think should happen is not, is not, to, is not to move in as though we are completely helpless. It is to look inward and find that perhaps we are not doing as much as we can. Now, if as at today, the generality of Nigerians have concluded that our political class are corrupt, this time around is not an allegation. You see them come out and say, this is what we even do. Part of the statement is that you don't expect members of the National Assembly not to recoup their gains. Inve I mean, investment. These, these, are very, these are very, uh, very serious, witty statements. And but you will not begrudge them. A former president of this country has consistently called them rogues. But thereafter, what happens? So I would imagine that what we can do, which is what some of us are doing, is to tap into the resentment of these people. First of all, let them not just follow because they have to be manipulated. I mean, if you talk about the followership that uh, Babangida or Abacha had, I will tell you that that is an aberration. It happened because you completely demobilized these people, made sure they had no capacity, sold very vicious and mischievous strategies around them, created an idea that, that, was, that was conceived in treachery, nurtured in perfidy, and delivered in mischief. A fullership that you get from that angle cannot be the fullership that will, be, that will occasion redemption. And therefore, I am proposing, difficult as it is, that rather than give tacit acceptance to what is happening, it should be a revolution of a sort, one of orientation. Secondly, acknowledge that our future is completely compromised and jeopardized by the same people whom you expected to follow. And then build our mobilization around the failure of this, of this class. Indeed, power will soon lie on the street again as it lay in 1993. Okay. The issue okay. is who we, must, we take it up. We must, start, we must start winding down now. And I'm going to just take this question around in closing. So, Shukwa, how do you think, briefly as you can, because we only have three minutes, how do you think we can improve our system of governance? Hmm. That's a well, whole essay, isn't it? It's, it's another <laughs> essay. <laughs> but I can just tell you that... Uh, the, the system, the recruitment system, the recruitment process, the recruitment vehicle, vehicle especially, has serious problem. Where it is the party, and only the party that is the vehicle. The Nigerian politician, to, 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 to leadership, to, to leadership. It's yes. only the the party. Yes. Apart from the party, you can't be yes. any leader anywhere. Yes. So the Nigerian... But we were discussing the independent Ni candidates at one point. What yeah, wait, that's the point I was making. The Nigerian politician, once they had that, they know the thing to do was to hold the party by the jugular. That is why the struggle for the control of party is the, is the most ferocious struggle among them. When you control the party, it is, uh, they will be coming to your house with uh, bulletproof vehicles and uh, because they need your blessing. 
They say Baba said that it is somebody who must be somebody because okay. he, he, he has a party. He is the one who registered the party. He recruited all of you. You all joined. So it's like somebody registering a company. They look at it from the business perspective until we alter that. Okay. And it can only be altered legally. But who are those to amend the law? The National same set of people. And so on. It's a coup de sac. Anywhere you go, you go back, you go back, you still meet them, you still okay. meet them. They are well entrenched okay. until there is something that will torpedo it. Okay. We will keep on padding and padding. We will keep on talking <laughs> okay. and talking. Okay. Number one, number one, I want to say very happily that the Young Democratic Party is the one party that has put in its constitution as abolished delegate elections and gone back to full registration and adoption of a modified option A4, let power go back to the people who were able to do that. And you, as a lawyer, you know that the constitution of the party is a final authority. We were able, and that was an amazing achievement, going mm -hmm. back to the people. Number two, we must believe in Nigeria and Nigerians. Nigerians are not corrupt. Nigerians are good people and we're a great nation. Hardworking people. And finally, mm. we must come to agree, like you said, that the system must change. So from now, we must come mobilize the people, enlighten the people. The biggest problem of Nigeria is not corruption. It is not leadership. It is ignorance. Come and let Nigerians know that this is their country, know that their leaders are to serve them, emancipate the knowledge base of Nigerians, okay. and Nigerians well, will like take it. their destiny in their One hands. sentence. That sentence would be that the Nigerian people must characterize the leadership they have at the moment must isolate them and to know how to overcome them okay. secondly and this uh -huh. is very important okay. there must be a way to end the culture of impunity yeah. by okay. punishing and applying the law just so that together with the you know combination of all of these the people will regain their freedom thank also. you very much we have been chatting with um, a legal practitioner mr olashupo ojo um, another legal practitioner and also the president of the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. Oh, by the way, Shukwa is the former uh, president of the Committee for Human Defense of Human Rights. He handed over to Malaki, and Malaki Gumadu is a legal practitioner and now the president of the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, as well as Mr. Ezekiel Niaitok. Thank you all very much for coming and sharing your insights with us this morning and for giving us a very interesting and engaging discussion. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen. Sunrise will return in just a moment with another interesting conversation. Make sure you are part of it. <laughs>